Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Holy, holy, it's time for you to tell us a story. Ah, yes, but where are your friends? Where are Gumbo and Freckles? Here we are. All right then, should we begin with the story? Well, today's story is called The Jonah and the Whale. Long, long time ago, there lived a man called Jonah. Jonah was a prophet who lived in Israel. One day, God appeared to Jonah. Jonah, I want you to go to the city of Nineveh and warn the people there. Tell them that I am going to destroy all of them and their city if they do not stop disobeying me. Jonah was not very happy with the job God asked him to do. Nineveh was a city full of bad people and Jonah knew that. He was very scared to go there. So instead of going to Nineveh, he decided to go the other way which would take him far, far away from Nineveh. He hoped God would pick someone else to do this particular job of warning the people there. Jonah got onto a ship, which was going to the farthest city he could find. He was feeling really tired. So Jonah went down to the bottom of the ship to take a quiet nap. God was very angry with Jonah, for he had disobeyed him. He knew exactly where Jonah was. He caused an enormous storm to come up. The sailors on the ship were afraid that the storm would sink their ship. They started throwing everything into the sea to lighten their ship. The storm got worse started praying to God to save them. Jonah knew what the problem was, and he also knew that there was only one thing to do. God would not stop the storm until Jonah did not do the job God asked him to do. So Jonah asked the sailors to throw him into the sea. He knew God was there with him to protect him. The sailors did what Jonah asked them to do, and immediately the storm quietened and all was calm. The sailors were astonished. They had no idea what was happening. In the sea, Jonah sank deeper and deeper. But God had different plans for him. He did not want Jonah to drown. He only wanted him to obey his orders. So, God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah to take him down to the sea. Jonah felt very scared. He prayed to God for forgiveness for disobeying him. Finally, after three days being inside the dark, stinky belly of the fish, the fish rose up to the top of the sea and spit Jonah out onto the shore. Jonah then went to the city of Nineveh and told them to stop doing all the bad work that they were doing as this was making God very angry. The people of the city believed Jonah and God saved them. Oh my my! How did Jonah even manage to live inside the stinky belly of the fish for three whole days? That's because God was there to protect him. So, did you kids enjoy the story? Oh yes, we loved it! Thank you for the wonderful story, Holy! My pleasure.
All right, Holly. Time for us to go. We'll be back again. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole